morning. Welcome once again to one of our Africa Sportsman Show editions. I'm standing here with the guys at uh, Wow Africa Safaris. Charles, our professional hunter to my right. On the end there is Bill. Bill, welcome to South Africa. If you can just please introduce yourself. Thank you. My name is Bill Statlander. I come from Huntsville, Alabama, USA. And I'm here to hunt Cape Buffalo. Bill, this is your second trip to South Africa. Yes, it is. Yeah, it was quite a quite a shitty trip. I mean, they lost your luggage. Yes, I way, know. Back in the U.S., but they're busy couriering it yeah, to the to the to the hunting area where we are. So uh, welcome here. Eh? Thank you. Thank you, Charles. Yes. Um, just also please introduce yourself, and then uh, if you can just take us through the plans for the next next few days. Yes, I'm Charles Kampfer, head professional hunter here at Wild Africa. Um, met Bill last year in the States, um, and he said he wants a buffalo. So. Glad he came after the year we had last year yeah, and everything, and what you a made tough it. Year it was. Um, and we appreciate you going through the effort to come. Our plans for today is we've got quite a lot of buffalo on the property. We're going to be driving around um, because we've got lots of hills and it's fairly open in some areas. Drive glass, see if we can find a herd. Obviously, approach them, see if there's what what bulls are available. Um, I'm planning not to look so much for the female herds, but more for the bachelor males, which are known as Daga boys. So if we find small herds of Daga boys, we go and we see if we can't get a, a good representative, um, nice old bull, right. art boss bull, obviously. Yeah. Um, and that's the plan for today. Yeah. Nice cool weather we've got. So I think they'll be active. I don't think they're going to yeah. bed down too soon. Bull, uh, bull was on the shooting sticks just now. Um, put three bullets almost in the same hole here uh, um, of the stick. So good shooting. He's going to use a 370, uh, 375 H&H. Shooting some Hornady factory loads, specifically loaded for the dangerous game here in Africa. So, Bill, good luck. Uh, Thank you. Thanks for entertaining us on our show. We're really looking forward to that. All right. <laughs> thanks, guys. We spotted uh, quite a few groups from the lookout. To another look over and we spotted in this valley below us it makes lots of dips and springs we spotted backs of some buffalo i'm not sure what they are if it's a if it's a, a herd of bulls or a herd of females winds in our favor yes do i, I know the way yeah yes. so we're gonna we're gonna do a stalk up to them and see see what they are and if there's a shootable bull available right. so let's go Closer than I'd like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I was too close or not. I just <laughs> listened to you. <laughs> and at one stage, because I saw them move that way, and when I go over there and I saw this back right here, I knew if, if she sees us now, we're just within that space where I think hopefully she would have run, but usually when you get that close, it, they don't like it very much. So yeah. it was really. And I saw I actually got a bit of a fright. So. You, you come closer to reading their minds than I do. Yeah. But they were calm. They were busy feeding. They right. didn't even know we were there and late, until we started backing out and that young... Yeah, well, uh, yeah so we went back down. Yeah, so... No, well, let's go fire, see if we can, yeah. can get a herd with, with bulls in it. So. All right. Yeah.
Charles, the rain poured us on that previous stalk, eh? Yeah. yeah. yeah and, and, and the forecast doesn't look good for this afternoon. But I mean, there's an hour or two left in the day. So what's the plan? Yes, um, with this horrible weather moving in, the uh, um, positive thing is it's, it's got a lovely wind blowing, uh, which kind of helps. But I mean, our previous talk, we got in on some bulls bedded down, they spooked, moved into some thick brush. And with this kind of weather and everything, it's, we're just going to keep spooking them. Um, so we're giving them chance to relax this afternoon. We're ending a bit earlier than, than anticipated. And then we'll head out tomorrow morning. Looking at the weather, it looks like sunshine, so hopefully they... It's going to be cold, but sunshine. So yeah, the weather was pretty accurate this whole day, so hopefully if, if, if it stays like that, tomorrow will be a nice and sunny day. Right? Yeah. yeah. How was your first day on, on uh, here with Isaac and, and Charles here at Wow Africa? Well, I'll tell you, I've been here once before, so I was kind of ready for it, but when you look at it, they always say it's hot. Always talk about it's hot. Yeah. No. They're and, wrong. And it doesn't help It doesn't help if your luggage is uh, halfway around the world, does right. it? Right. It starts out in Houston. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Then uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning again. Okay. okay. Nice Step and fresh. Up, thank you. All right. right. Let's hope tomorrow is the day. Yeah, let's hope so. All right. All right. Well, good morning, guys. Nice and fresh this morning, eh, Bill? Uh, yes, right. <laughs> fresh is a nice way of putting it. Yes. Well, uh, this morning uh, when I greeted Isaac, Isaac, welcome. You weren't here yesterday. You were battling that big uh, fire in... in uh, in the mountains all day so thanks for joining us today it's the first time i see you in zululand with with long pants on well it was below freezing last night and i can tell you the heaven it, it looks nice and warm but uh, with the wind the wind chill it's pretty cold so i think it's pretty close to zero yeah no, it's a it's a cold it's a cold day we saw we saw a bunch of buffalo from here we looked down they uh, there's no range finder that can range it so they must be close to two kilometers from here but we saw a nice and big group it looks like these some weight on the head, so what's the plan, Joss? Yeah, after seeing that group of buff this morning, um, they mixed with wildebeest, so it was hard to tell whether it was um, a group of just the bulls, because it's in that area we found the bulls yesterday. Yeah, we, we left them yesterday yes. with the rain, yeah. So our plan is to drive and get to another high point, to just get a better look at them, and then if it's if it's a group we're looking for, if it's a group of dugger boys, we'll move, get the wind in our, our favor, and start moving in towards them. Hopefully they split from the wildebeest. Yeah, otherwise there's a lot of eyes, eh? Yeah. Okay, well, you ready? You had a good night's rest? Yes. All right, hope you shoot straight today. I do too. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go.
hard thump on the shoulder, and the reaction of the buffalo also looked pretty good. When he took the hit, you, you can see it. Hit him, and you can hear the hit quite good. Well, he he disappeared just over this ridge here, Yeah. Well, after, after a few minutes of looking, uh, that, that bull crossed the skyline, so we couldn't see which direction, but the guys managed to pick up the track. <laughs> and yes, definitely some fresh, good, dark, dark, dark red blood, so uh, hopefully he's not too far off. <laughs> That's a good sign. Okay, there you go. And um, we, we bumped it. Um, we, we heard it. We never could see it. It was just about 15 yards from us. I mean, look, look, look how thick it is. I mean, you, you can see four, five, six meters, and that's it. Yeah. So um, we could hear it crashing through here. And so we'll okay, let's follow it. Getting your money's worth today, sir. <laughs> So when we heard him breathing heavily, we kind of moved around him. Right. And the bushes are so thick we oh, didn't see him. In. 15 feet maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Not meters, but feet. Yeah. <laughs> you and I kind of went ahead to try and see if we can't get a clearing. And right. he was better down, we didn't see him. He no. got up and he's, he sucked and yeah. Stefan and them saw him. Yeah. Um, so we walked past him. Obviously it was hard to call us at that stage. <laughs> you don't want to scare the buffalo and you can't get hold of you guys five meters away. Yeah, so he took off again, but it seems like he's staying in the thicker brush, which shows he's hurting. He doesn't, he's yeah, not yeah. clearing open ground, so yeah. wind's perfect where he went in. We're going to go back in and right. hopefully this time we, we see him before he sees us. That's the important thing. Well, also we hear him and see him before he hears us. Yeah. He hears us because yeah. we're, we're pretty loud going Everybody's loaded up, eh? Yes, I agree. All right.
Robel. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Um, what seems like a perfect shot did not kill this buffalo. It went for, where's the time now? Almost eight hours and a... Yes, more than eight. More than eight mm -hmm. hours. And um, yeah, but luckily we got him. Here we are, we had a fantastic team. Yes. Vincent and Isaac and uh, and Charles were fantastic on the on the tracks because as you can see here, uh, this blood is completely dried, dried down. He rubbed it with his horns, this wound. I mean, this, the, the the shot was on the money. Uh, we we'll, we we don't we don't we haven't looked at the footage yet, mm. but I mean uh, fr from here it looks perfect. So I don't know what happened. Maybe maybe it hit something or maybe it hit a branch. You never know. Okay. Yes. Uh, but yeah, what what was a perfect shot? Congratulations on that. Turned out into a half of a nightmare. But um, at least we got him eh? with, with, with some good tracking. But look at it this way. If he went down, I just had those memories would have stopped then. No, that's now true. I've got another eight hours of memories. Yeah, and I lost about eight pounds <laughs> today. So, no, thank you for that. I really need it. <laughs> After my year off with my legs. So, but no, yes, congratulations. Good shooting. Uh, that last one on the sticks, just take us through that. It's a pity we couldn't get it on film. It just happened too quickly and with a wounded animal, especially, I mean, you, you can see the, yes, the, right. the, the stuff we're hunting. I mean, the moment you have a shot, you have to take it. So there was no time to put the camera on. I was with you next, next, next to you with my rifle waiting for you. You were on the sticks. You said you saw the buffalo and you smacked him and, and I followed up and, and 50, 60 no. places later. The first thing I said was, I don't see him. And then I yeah. thought, oh, I do see him. Yeah. All right, he's yeah. there, right? He was right there in the <laughs> open. But yeah, it is. It, 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 these, these black creatures can disappear in the stickers here. So from uh, Africa Sportsman's uh, side, Isaac, to you, thank you so much for handling the camera this week. Um, it, it was nice. It was nice with you, at the uh, together with Charles. You know, at the steer of things yeah. when it when it when it went from bad to worse, and uh, yes. we needed we, we, we needed the help, and uh, and you guys definitely pushed through. And Bill, from my side, I need to I need to take my hat off to you. I mean, um, you're not a young guy anymore. You, no, said, it, you no. said it a couple of times today, and to and to stick through and to walk, you know, every step of the way with the oaks, tracking your buffalo and finishing it off in the end. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks guys, uh, keep following our channel, like this video and uh, uh, put a thumbs up and we'll definitely keep them coming. See you next time.